lots of the stuff that I've done over, you know, the, since I started streaming and stuff and what I've been planning to do, also, it did have a sort of, uh, kind of in the back of my mind, this idea of kind of appealing to uh, the sort of people I don't like, which are basically bad people and idiots. And um, now I really want to distance myself from that. So, like, you know, to some degree, I was sort of, like, even though I was attacking them, uh, in terms of the actual beliefs, I was also trying to appeal to them through, you know, through use of like certain stylistic elements. Um, so, you know, and so this means typically sort of things that are seen as quote conservative. Um, and I, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm not really going to change because even from the outset, it wasn't it wasn't so much about hammering to them, right? It was more about reappropriating this for myself, and that's really what I put it out to signal. But there was also a little bit of sort of idea of pandering to to such people as well at the same time as I was attacking them, because I have been very clear since the beginning that I opposed them. Um, but so, um, in particular, I am not going to be trying in any way I'm just saying this right now just to make it clear that if I do it, if it seems that I'm parent to them, uh, maybe just like, you know, I didn't, you know, subconsciously and still maybe doing it or something, but certainly what I'm intentionally doing is only now, only entirely reappropriating uh, all of this, you know, the, the stylistic elements of that are traditionally uh, attached to folk conservatism. I'm reappropriating them, whatever I like. And, um, it's not about pandering to them. It's in fact it's the opposite. It's about fighting them. It's about showing that you know that we can have these things so with elements. Um, and so from that perspective, well, you know, the so the main reason I've been writing about this is, to, is I mean, I'm, I'm making this video rather is be, regarding specifically this issue regarding um, the people I might associate myself with, and especially with my potential girlfriend and wife and also another person who's my sort of uncle that I've been thinking of having uh, do a presidential campaign run even though I don't actually want him to become president. Um, and that's because I uh, um, did, um, so I, I wanted to do that just to gain this more publicity in the same way that I want to do uh, more you know more visibility. And so, what I've been saying until now is that I want uh, an Arab, an Arab girlfriend, wife, whatever, of Muslim Arab origin. And um, and the reason for that is because those are sort of the most difficult people, and especially with lots of Muslims. And of course, Muslims sort of look up to the Arabs in particular because that's where you know they run to this base Arabia. And so, um, and they're really, you know, the most resistant people to to doing things better, and so, and to you know, like have other people try to tell them to stop doing that. And so that's why I thought it was good, you know, to have someone like that to create a sort of person that they kind of feel really like the connection with. Um, and I still think it's like a pragmatic idea. I still think. Uh, that is what would work best, and it's still what I want, and it's still what I expect to be good work to make happen. The only thing that I really want to point out now is that I don't want it to happen like that to pander to those people. I don't care if Muslims like me, I don't care if Muslims like me or not. Um, again, bad people should not be pandered to, but merely quashed. Okay? I want to quash all this, uh, all this idiocy and this evil, all that ideology. I do not want to pander to them, and therefore this, yeah, I, in a sense, you know, I often anger the black Muslims, you know, if people, you know, leave the religion, and if also if a non-Muslim takes a person, especially a woman of Muslim origin as a wife, that is something that angers them. I'd rather anger them than have them be sort of satisfied by having someone that represents them. I don't want that, okay? I don't want to satisfy that people. Again, it's like, no, I don't like them. I, you know, I want to quash them. Um, and likewise, so for my this 
uncle of mine. He's a, a very sort of sort of caricature of your sort of red state rural voter from Louisiana, very sort of thick set, not very tall, but sort of out, but very thick set, uh, ex sort of um, special forces military something was like it. It's like a Gulf War one and like it's like dangerous. Uh, apparently like spent a week getting the sand and stuff uh, something while watching Saddam and stuff. Um, gets into fights all the time and I have a bunch of tattoos that gets into fights but I don't, wait but I'll uh, I'll get to the, the next bit. He gets into fights a lot. Um, yeah yeah these tattoos is sort of just a sort of rough overall kind of a rough person, like rough and also in the manner. Um, when I like met him last time, he had this big like bullet T-shirt with like a list of types of bullets. Um, so you get the type. Um, but uh, at the same time, he actually apparently voted for Biden, or at least didn't vote for Trump last time in 2020. Uh, but he did vote for Trump in 2016. And so the point is that not a hardcore Trump supporter. Apparently, he has a, a gay son, and he defended his gay son against his ex-wife. Who, there, um, and so, and and when he picks fights, it's against you know the weaker person, against the more innocent person, and, and it's like against bullies. And so there, there is, there are these good traits. And so the reason I, I wanted him specifically is, well, at first it was precisely to sort of it, it was this element of pandering to the sort of people that would be Republican kind of thing. Um, and now I don't want that anymore. I don't care. I like I don't want to. And so the other thing. Is that um, at one point I was thinking, no, I'm going to give up on on having him because um, it would essentially mean that he would lose his own independence. Because I, for me to have, you know, for me to fund his campaign and everything, you'd have to be, you know, you'd have to agree with me on pretty much everything. And at that point, it would seem too much like he's a puppet of mine, right? And so then people might not like that. And I'm thinking, well, now I don't mind because besides, I don't want to pander to to those people, okay? So I actually want to show, like, if I make him a puppet of me, that's even much better. Um, again, I'm spiting them. I'm showing like that I've beaten them by making one of theirs, so to speak, one of my puppets. Um, that is better. Um, again, I I want to piss them off. I don't want them to be happy at all. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so I'm still, again, it's the same thing. I know it still would matter to and and that's okay, and it is pragmatic for that reason. Um, but ultimately, I yeah don't actually want it to be like that. And the reason I'm still choosing him and not somebody else is not because of that whole red state Republican vibe, whatever. It's rather because of his personality. That is, he has a a, a fire personality. He's motivated. He's tough. He's resilient. Um, and so, like, I can't think of anybody else that, you know, that would be eligible to become president of the United States that has that kind of a personality, uh, that has the toughness required for that. Um, and so as a result, I am, um, uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still going to try to get him to do it. You know, I mean, for now, I, I think a little bit, but if I can meet a girlfriend of mine, then, be successful and then I can try to be kind of interested. So um yeah, that's um sort of what I had to say. I'm not um yeah, I'm not trying to satisfy I'm not trying to, to satisfy my opponents. I'm trying to sort of do this sort of thing of bridging people and getting them to no, they're idiots. They don't deserve to be listened to, they don't deserve to be catered to. Um so that's not why I'm doing that. Even though I mean Pragmatically, it still is kind of how I'm doing that, but I'm sort of trying to show why fundamentally I basically, if I had someone that had the same personality but that looked like a total sort of hippie, lefty person, whatever, I would choose that person. Okay. And likewise, if I didn't have, you know, an Arab Muslim origin person, I would choose that person. I'd choose any person of any origin, and I don't care if people don't like it and don't feel you know, as satisfaction or something. 
Um, no, it, it, uh, it doesn't matter. The earth and pipe thing should work regardless. I mean, if we're just two dorky hippie people or whatever, it shouldn't matter. We could be both just completely weird and wear weird clothes and look incredibly ugly and whatever. It doesn't matter. If people should agree with it because all decent people, all wise and good people will agree with us regardless of what agree with us with what we say, with the content of what we say, and not uh, with our appearance, not with our stuff. Right? It matters to the substance. 